This screencast reinforces some of the main aspects of a PXY diagram for vapor-liquid equilibrium of a binary system. In a PXY diagram, the temperature is fixed. At high pressures, the mixture will be in the liquid state. As the pressure is reduced, the mixture will be two-phase, liquid and vapor, and as the pressure is further reduced, the mixture will be in the vapor phase. The blue line in the simulation is a straight line, as is predicted from Raoult's law. The pressures at the extremes of the x-axis correspond to the pressure to boil pure benzene and pure toluene at the given temperature. A bar chart on the right of the plot indicates the amount of liquid, blue, and vapor, green. At the initial conditions, the mixture is all liquid, and therefore the, the bar chart is completely blue. As the pressure is reduced, we move downward along a vertical line. When we touch the blue line, we are at the bubble point. We can draw a tie line over to the vapor phase, which is green in this simulation. The tie line is a horizontal line, since the pressure for the two phases is the same. At the bubble point, the composition in the liquid phase is the same as the starting composition. The composition in the vapor phase can be determined by dropping a line down from the green curve and reading off the vapor phase composition from the x-axis. As the pressure is further reduced, the mixture is in the two-phase region. The bar on the right side is now divided into blue and green sections, with the height of each bar corresponding to the relative amount of material in the liquid and vapor phases. Tie lines are horizontal lines, and the compositions in the liquid and vapor phases can be obtained by dropping vertical lines from where the tie lines intersect the blue and green curves. Note that even though our bulk composition has a benzene mole fraction of just over 0.6, the compositions in the liquid and vapor phases will be different. This is the whole basis of separation using this technique. We take advantage of different relative volatility of the two species to achieve separation. We can continue to reduce the pressure at constant composition until we reach the bottom curve. This corresponds to the dew point pressure of the mixture at this temperature. The bar on the right side is now all green, indicating that everything is vapor. Further reductions in the pressure do not change the composition of the mixture. The mixture is superheated vapor when the dot is below the green curve. The dynamic simulation allows us to move the cursor to various pressures and compositions. To end the screencast, we will go back to the two-phase region and will now adjust the temperature using the slider. The temperature directly impacts the equilibrium behavior of this system. As the temperature is reduced, the curve shifts to lower pressures. There is also a subtle change in the shape of the green curve as the temperature is changed. Adjusting the pressure in a system is one technique engineers have of achieving and augmenting separation processes.